Contracts often require performance at a later date. In Bomberger v. McKelvey, we explore what happens if, before that date, one party instructs the other not to perform. John Bomberger and Associates owned city lots containing a commercial building leased to the Hells. Bomberger sold the lots to D.P. McKelvey and Associates for the construction of a grocery store. The written sale agreement stated that the Hills would occupy the existing building until Bomberger constructed a new one for them elsewhere. At that point, McKelvey was to pay the Hills a fixed amount for the surrender of their lease. Bomberger and McKelvey also orally agreed that concurrent with the completion of Bomberger's new building, Bomberger would demolish and remove the old building in exchange for $3,500. Because plate glass and skylights were extremely scarce, Bomberger intended to reuse such materials from the old building in the new one. Bomberger notified McKelvey of that intent and adjusted the building plans accordingly. But when McKelvey couldn't acquire construction materials for the new grocery store, McKelvey notified Bomberger that he wasn't to proceed with the demolition or removal. Needing the salvaged materials to complete his new building, however, Bomberger entered McKelvey's premises, removed certain materials, and installed them in his building, at which point the hills relocated. Bomberger then demolished the old building. McKelvey refused to pay Bomberger for the demolition or the hills for surrendering their lease on the basis that the parties shouldn't have continued with performance once directed to stop. The Hells assigned their claim to Bomberger, and Bomberger sued McKelvey to recover the amounts owed. The trial court held in Bomberger's favor, and McKelvey appealed to the California Supreme Court.